Alrighty, well, 3D movies are all the rage right now, but they might do more than just entertain. Dr. Carl Hillier here says the 3D technology may also help parents diagnose a problem with their children's vision, really. So we're going to talk about this. First of all, good morning. Good morning. All right, Doc. Well, explain the process of uh, seeing 3D. 3D is an amazing uh, process in the brain. It occurs back in the brain, in the occipital lobe, way back here. And what occurs is when one eye looks into the world with from one perspective and the other eye looks into the world from the other perspective, the world becomes three-dimensional for people. Uh -huh. And so it combines the images from each eye in the brain uh, to cause there to be a 3D experience. Okay, now we're talking about um, if your child is having difficulty in school with sports or um, things like that, you're saying that um, 3D movies can help identify identify the source of the problem? Well, I, yeah, I, the beauty of a 3D movie for children is that when they go with their parents, um, there can be identified issues with that child's vision because what happens in about one out of every 30 children, actually, there's a situation called stereo blindness, and it's the most common cause of visual dysfunction in children that there is. So when a child goes to a 3D movie, about one out of every 30 children won't have the opportunity to see 3D. Really? Yeah, and uh, about two or three more out of 30 are going to have significant symptoms like headaches or nausea, dizziness, uh -huh. eye pain. So then what? what? What causes this, first of all? Well, the cause of it is typically what's called a binocular dysfunction. That is, one eye doesn't work together with the other eye, and there's interference or com competition between the two eyes causing symptoms. So then if, if, if they're sitting in 3D movie and they can't see it, they just it just sees... They see it flat. It looks flat, or they, they look at it and it just causes symptoms, physical symptoms. So are they the people, you know, who would be getting the headaches at the movies? Or can someone like me, if I don't have that condition, that would I get the no, headaches you, possibly at the 3D movies? Probably not. No, mm -hmm. if you don't have a binocular problem, then you probably don't. But this, those, those with stereo blindness, which is one out of every 30 kids, uh -huh. or with visual dysfunction, the they will have the symptoms. And it translates into sports difficulty and academic difficulty. Which makes sense. But yeah. let me clarify. So you're saying, I want to make sure I get this right, so if you go to a movie and if you don't have that condition, it's not, 3D movies should not just automatically give you a, a headache. Correct. And if I wear glasses normally to watch movies, and if I put the 3D glasses on top of my regular glasses, that's still all okay, right? That's all okay. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. let's talk about testing. You brought some props yeah, well, here. This is just to show you the old-fashioned way of seeing 3D, mm -hmm. is when you have an image presented to one eye, and the, another image presented to the other eye, and you put it in a stereoscope, you can see what happens. It comes together. Yeah, you can see a 3D image. Okay. Oh, yeah, it looks very clever. Yeah, and this I is because like one eye looks into the world with one perspective, and the other uh -huh. eye looks into the other perspective, yeah. and, it, and it creates this rich three-dimensional image, just yeah. like how we're supposed to see the world. Right. And what they do in theaters is they put these glasses on, mm -hmm. and um, what happens is when you look through these, um, it, you look cool, what, <laughs> when, <laughs> when I goes into uh, sees one image and the projector provides another image to the uh -huh. other eye, and uh, the nice the nice thing about these glasses is when you go to the movies with your children. Mm -hmm. Have the glasses put on, look at your child, yeah. and ask your child if they can see both eyes. And can you see both of my no, eyes? No, I see your right eye. Okay. I mean, I see your left eye a little bit, but the right eye is clearer. The, yeah. the, the left lens looks more opaque. So this looks will. clear and this is not as good. So you probably have a dominant uh, right eye. Yeah. Because one eye is seen clearly. But really? close one eye and watch it. But I mean, is it okay that this, your lens right here looks kind of dark to me? It's, if you can see the eye, it's okay. I can see your eye. But close your eye. Clo now what happens? Oh, that lens is black now. It's totally, totally black. Totally opaque. Hey, and the other one is. That's right. really cool. I wish you could see this at home. I and, love it. And that's the test that I think you should do with your children, and that is look at each other with the glasses on. And if your child says one of your eyes look totally black, you then know that's okay. Not, no, no, no. That means that one eye isn't working. When your eyes, both eyes are open. That should only happen when you close one eye. That's right. Got but it. if both eyes are open and the child says, I only see one of your eyes, the other one's black, that means that they might have stereo blindness uh -huh. or one of these other conditions called convergence insufficiency. Is that something that can be reversed? Absolutely. That's the beauty of this, this, these 3D movies. Take your children to the 3D movie and do this test, uh -huh. and you're going to pick up a lot of issues that are causing significant difficulties with children in school and sports and other areas Whoa. and that's why the California Optometric Association is so excited about 3D movies it, because it's a screening device that's fun. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. and these glasses are cool. <laughs> They're not like the old-fashioned ones that are right there. Those are dorky yeah. looking. I like these a lot better. All right well Dr. Uh, Carl Hillier thank you very much for joining us. Very interesting information you shared with us this morning. You're welcome. Yeah definitely. Thank you.